Alrighty, good morning folks. First time for making this particular dish in a while. This is going to be sausage cornbread. And yes, that's regular pork sausage in the pan there. It's about the three or four thick patties cut off the log. And we're just going to put a little bit of onion in there. We're going to make sausage cornbread and sausage gravy. And the cornbread is just about ready. And I'm a little bit behind the ball curve here. And yes, this is going to be the pan we cook the cornbread in. So I'm going to have to whip up this batch of uh, cornbread here real quick like. Start out here. Get a little bit of turn that down a little low. All right, let's have us a little garlic. Yes, garlic for breakfast is still good. It's good for blood flow. Got us a little pepper. Yeah, I don't have a pepper grinder thing going on, so just deal with it. And a little bit of sea salt. That'll work. We've got it going on. We can just turn that heat right off and let that finish off just like that. All right. Let's get our cornbread going. We'll save that onion for later. And we'll just put this off to the side. We got our bowl. We got our cornbread. I'm just using the recipe off the box. We want, I used to have this roll memorized. Let's see, flour, cornmeal, it says one and a quarter or something like that, and then three quarters, guess what? I just go 50-50 flour and cornbread. Close enough. It's not a rocket, people. It's just cooking. So you just pretty much get to see it as it happens here. If you want to see the big dramatic pour, you know, we'll just, there, I'll give you the full view. There, done. Now we need, uh, what are we after here? Oh, got to have a little sugar. A wee bit of sugar is always a good thing. Oh, sorry about that. Getting a little rambunctious here. There we are. A quarter cup, you say? Yeah, that looks good. I'm uh, not supposed to eat all that much sugar anyway. Alright, that goes in. Let's get our flour out of the way. We need a little bit of salt. We need some bacon powder. An egg oil and milk and there we are okay that's all done okay whoops yeah i kind of need the box don't i silly all right got the sugar we need two oh yep yeah, two teaspoons okay gotcha close enough All this does is just provide leavening so it'll rise. A little extra isn't going to kill it. That's quite all right. All right, there's that. We need the oil, the egg, and the milk. Quarter cup of veggie oil. Okay. That'll do. Let's get the egg. Where did I put it? Not farm fresh, but it'll get the job done. There we go. And now we're ready for our... Uh, how much milk? One cup of <laughs> skin milk. Okay, yeah, sure. <clears throat> Let's go for uh, real milk. There. 
Alright, that's that. Get my little mixer. Which, believe it or not, my little batter mixer. There we go. Oh, I've got the salt. Gotta have a little salt in there. Yeah, about that much. And, okay, now we can. Now we can beat the snot out of it. And for those of you who are new to making cornbread, it's going to be a little bit lumpy. You want that. It's not going to be perfectly smooth. <coughs> the sausage in the bottom of the pan is optional. But that's how I learned to make it and eat it when I lived in Ohio and worked for an outfit called TJ's. You want to add a little bit more? Uh, you want to add a little bit more chew? Put in some corn. That's why we keep frozen corn on hand. Yeah, a couple handfuls. That'll do. Don't be shy. It's quite all right. It actually just adds a little bit more, uh, a little bit of flavor and a little bit of texture. There we go. That's going to come out just fine. The oven's already preheated to uh, 400 degrees per the instructions, and that seems to work out just fine. Now let's see if I can pour this in there. Without, uh, and that's just that's just right. You want it? That's just what you want for cornbread batter right there. There we are. That's the good stuff. Now let's see if I can... Uh, that's going to have just a little bit of oil in there. Let's see if I can pour this out without dropping the bowl in the pan. I need to get me a batter bowl. Oop, there we are. Transition the grip. That'll do. Now this is going to come out, it's going to finish, it's only going to be about yay thick. Because it's a, they say it's a 10 inch skillet. But she's awful big. But I want to tell you something. Cast iron cornbread just ain't nothing like it. I could almost make a double batch. That'll be fine. Oh, it's a little bit warm, too. You know, I did just have the burner on. Okay, in the oven. Set the timer. I'm going to make, be making gravy here in a little bit. But until then, I hope you enjoyed the show. We'll talk to you later. Be back in a few seconds. A split second for you, as a matter of fact. Bye. Okay, friends, it's a time to make it the gravy. I started out with four of these patties. I buy the long tubes at Walmart. And uh, instead of using one, one incremental line, I cut it two. So I'm actually making, these are like double patties because I like meat. But we're going to get these in the skillet, start browning them. Wash the goo off my hands here. Alright, might want to put just a touch of oil in here. I'm going to go with olive oil this time. Not much. Quick spin around the pan. And uh, let's start breaking that up. This is going to be gravy, so the oil is a good thing, because you want fat. That's what reacts with the glutens in the flour to make it gravy. It makes gravy gravy. Isn't that groovy? Alrighty, here we go. We'll do that other onion. Got the blade. That didn't look tasty. There we are. And we like 
combination of all pieces. So we just do the speed dice. And yes, it's always good to start with 10 and finish with 10. That's usually the goal. And end up with some food that doesn't kill anybody. That's good too. I'm going to put in a little red pepper. Just because color is good. Doesn't take a whole lot. Just enough for some color. Yep, still have them all. That was a close one. There we are. And as I did with the cornbread, a little bit of garlic in there. That really, really makes the sausage gravy sing. A little bit of sea salt. A little bit of black pepper. Yeah, about that much. That's about all it takes. You can add a little cumin in there if you want to. I do that sometimes too. Get a little earthy tone into it, but the sausage usually has pretty earthy tones already. That's uh, going to be it for the slicing and dicing, so we're done with that. I can move you in close. Come closer, said the spider to the fly. Let you in here so you can see what's going on. So the uh, cornbread's got about 10 minutes left to go. How we doing? Come on in for a closer look. Sorry if the lighting's not the best, but we just deal with it. We just gonna let this cook up. And while that's cooking, I think I'll get the flour out. We're gonna need a little bit of that, a little bit of butter. For a little more fat, so I can get the flour out without uh, banging the camera. There we are, and the milk. And no, I don't use skim milk. I use real milk. To deal with it. If you want skim milk, that's fine, but the fat is where the flavor is, folks. Just keep chopping that up, just keep, just use the edge of your spoon, just keep breaking the chunks of sausage into smaller pieces until you uh, get them down to the size you most like. There'll be a few big ones, there'll be a few, a lot of small ones, but they crumble down pretty good for you as they cook up. Just don't try to cook it all in one big chunk and then break it down. It doesn't work, or it doesn't work very good. coming along real fine. Okay. Now we can pump the heat up. And here's where a lot of people go wrong. I'm just going to put in a couple tablespoons. You put the flour in the meat. and stir. It's called a roux. Might want a little bit more. You can also use uh, potato starch, corn starch, uh, Wondra. I use that quite often, just don't have any with me here. Yeah, that's two or three tablespoons. And you can, I don't know if you can see on the, the, the consistency of the meat. It's definitely changed. Okay, now we're ready for that uh, butter I talked about. Grab a spoon real quick. And we'll just put in oh, a couple tablespoons. There we are. Let's get all that in there. Again, folks, this is, uh, it's not a rocket, guys. This is just cooking. It's just food. Yeah, here we go. We got the heat going on. The flour is mixed in with the meat. I got a little bit of butter going on there. 
and it's being absorbed it's time for the milk this is real scientific now now watch closely it's really complicated oh no how am I gonna know if it's enough it doesn't matter you got flour in there you put some heat on it bring it up to a bubble and it will thicken up all by itself if it's not thick enough you can add just a little bit of flour but mostly the flour that's in there and the fat that's in there and a little bit of temperature and this is one of the rare um, Teflon pans that I use the heat the fat and the glutens they're all in the party now they're all in the pool and they're uh, they're gonna get happy and uh, when that happens and the cornbread comes out I'll be back hope you're enjoying the show be back in a split second all right thought I'd just give you a little bit of a treat this is what we're looking for you got just a little bit of bubble and a little froth on top now but really we can take it off the heat Ah, cornbread should be ready now. So I just turned the burner down. Thank you. There we go. You can stop making noise. See, this is what we want. Just get a little bit of frothy, a little bit of bubbly, and then it's going to start thickening up all on its own. That's why you want the fat in there. Ooh, frost up the glasses. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about right there. It may not win a beauty contest, but just wait till we taste that. That is a nice cornbread with sausage and corn. And you know, cornbread with corn, hey, there's a novel thought. Huh? We'll put that over here and let that cool. We'll just let that okay thank you we can turn off now there we go timer off oven off there we are yeah that's gonna do just fine we're just gonna let the magic work and uh, we'll be back for the big unveiling later on well, here we are, folks. The moment of tooth. Let's uh, get this sausage going. Just so you can see it. Yeah, it just looks like cornbread on the bottom, cornbread on the top. That's okay. You know what? I'm going to be a pig. This is the good stuff. We'll just break that up. And now let's see if I can get you a, see if I can get you a view without burning my hands. Because it's still, still kind of warm. There. How's that? See? It looks like cornbread with sausage in it, doesn't it? It's a miracle. Grab the ladle. What pass this for a ladle in this house? Get rid of the uh, spatula. Still not quite as thick as I would. You would find it in a restaurant. But then, who really wants to eat restaurant food all the time? This is still ooey gooey goodness. We're gonna back away from the pan. Put this down. If you want, you can always put butter on the cornbread before you uh, add the gravy. Either way, it's uh, going to be good eats. Okay, a little cornbread, a little gravy in there. And yes, the fork works out just fine because the cornbread is going to soak up the gravy. Get a little sausage. Happy Tummy Comfort Food Breakfast. Cast iron cornbread. 
<clears throat> and you know what the recipe on the back of the box of the cornbread that's all you need you can do special things add a few things but that works just fine well I hope you enjoyed cooking the breakfast <clears throat> I'm not going to force you to watch me eat <clears throat> so we're going to sign off I'm going to get this thing uploaded and see if I can't uh, get a link out to you here pretty soon hope you enjoyed breakfast cooking and uh, we'll be back with another video soon.